This is 20 something feet across. You've got ceilings that gotta be 30 feet tall and that carries out throughout the entire house. I mean, you got like a barn dominium right in the middle of your house. I just got out of this house. In fact, Jojo, my main man over there, has the key. They gave us exclusive access. These houses don't even have power yet. Nobody has been inside of this house. We'll go into that at the end of this video. We're also going to take you into this massive Toll Brothers home uh, as well. And first, what we're going to do is start out at their staged house that they have at the front of this neighborhood. These are going to be some of the biggest, nicest houses that you will find in Houston, Texas. The crazy part is when we talk to the sales reps, they have four contracts for these houses on their desk today. These things are selling like hotcakes. Wait till the end of this video when we not only get you into this house, but we reveal the prices of these massive mansions here in Houston, Texas, because they're not that expensive. So what we're going to do, show you all three of these houses. You're going to vote which one you like best. And first, we're going to head to the one that has power because it is freezing cold out here. Yeah. All right, here we are again at the famous Toll Brothers. What's exciting is you have not seen this floor plan. And as a matter of fact, we're going to go tour around it because they have a completely new and refreshed section and this floor plan they have revamped it to today's standards so let's go have a walk in jackson and see what that looks like let's do it <laughs> just to let y'all know <laughs> It, it does get cold here in Houston. We got a little ice on the car. That's not water. That is some ice. Look right at there. this. Am We're I? not used to this right here. <laughs> Woo! So the, uh, kind of the freeze, but we're able to still get our video done for you guys. Um, but we're gonna head on in. This is gonna be a unique one. You know what, Jojo? We peaked in there already. We have. We we're gonna yeah. not go upstairs until the end because it's that cool. All right. But we do got to do our normal. We got to kind of go in a door, out a door. You know what? Through yes. a door. We actually need to walk around the way they have this. Is unique. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm not going to tell you to walk in this front door because this is actually the garage space. Cold, Jojo? This is cold. <laughs> Jackson, you're used to this, man, because you're from Idaho. <laughs> this is normal Idaho weather, right? It is like negative 20, apparently, where I'm from, North Idaho. Oh, but so uh, this is nothing. Cold is cold. This humid cold, Joe, is cold, different. cold. But let's get back because this is what the people want. First of all, you got the, the stained wood. You actually have like a hardy plank instead of the brick, but you got a lot of like, there's metal on the roof. This is just a totally different look. It is. This is a very, has a, uh, a real nice traditional feel to it. You're going to see in the new section, it's really that, that upgraded modern farmhouse luxury style house that everybody's looking for with the white brick and everything else. But we'll see, we'll save that for later, Jackson. Love it. Coming in, big metal door. And as usual, come on in and take a look around, Jackson. This is awesome. All right, Jackson. So we're going to go take a look around this house. However, I did want to say we do have breaking news about this home, but we're going to share that towards the end. Okay. For now, let's take a look over here into the open and spacious study area with the ceilings. Wait a minute. How tall? That I can I have never seen you. an office. That, that rivals anything. <laughs> so 20 something foot tall in your office. Really? Yeah. Cool. It's super super high it's, it's well over 15 feet 20 foot like you mentioned yep and then right away we all see also have one of these the trade ceilings but you've got uh you know a lot of finishes in here people love this that house about. is super upgraded obviously they use this for the model home so it's going to have every single thing that people are looking for that appeals when wanting to uh just yep. walk in move into a house and have it ready like this so right away we do have half bath right here. And then over here, it's you're gonna utility have, area. Yep, this would be your garage though, right? Not right here, it starts right over here to the left. Yep, and then you would have your utility room, washer, dryer, sink. Now take us in and I gotta cover and the camera. I don't want them to see upstairs, Joe, it's too cool. Well, come on back this way, Jackson. Right, I'm just, you I'm just have blocking a little, it. Nice little details they have here. They've almost put every piece of creativity into design into this home, which makes it so nice and appealing when you come in. Joe, Joe, what in the heck do we got right here to the left of me? Also to the left of you, to the right of me, you have a nice courtyard. Are you too scared to go outside because it's cold? It, <laughs> <laughs> it, it is freezing cold out here. You're Jackson. trying to avoid that at all costs, huh? This is awesome though, totally different. Yes. So you've got, you know, this wood finishes here. And as you saw when we walked in guys, from the driveway you would have access. So we went in, we came in right here and walked through, but you would have an access point right you here do. as well. We, we've had a lot of people, and I know it's a little details, but people have asked about how does the water drain? These are the where the draining points are in order to exit this area here. So it's a really cool center. What are these called, atriums or something? It's a courtyard. Courtyard, Yeah. right here in the middle, and you kind of have all your entertaining space right there for people to watch. And you're able to see it from the inside. So people like me who want to stay warm, the other guys can stay out here. <laughs> Get me inside. All right, Jojo, right away. I mean, that's the standout. Look at the island side. 
And and look at the the refrigerator in here. I mean, this looking is not, for burgers. Yeah, I was you know I'm always looking for that Jackson. <laughs> what is really nice is this nice walk-in pantry. How many times have we actually walked into a pantry like this? Holy and moly! And they showcase so there's Custom some amazing board. things that can do this. Is this on their standard build? No. However, it gives you the possibilities of what you can do to upgrade your pantry or any other parts of the house that you see that's super upgraded. This is massive space in here. It is, it's really, really nice. All right, not only do we got the oversized length of an island, the depth of this one, this has got to be a good five, six feet here. Yes. And what's exciting, Jackson, is we, you know, showcasing a lot of these homes. One, Toll Brothers, we work in partnership with them as just being um, our real estate team. However, they're independent from the way we work. Again, just full disclosure on that. However, what's nice is we've had so many people reach out. I even asked this past week, we're in January, people are flying in asking about this tier type style house and what's available and what that looks like and what they get in this price point. And then right here, this, this house is not short of windows and natural lighting that beams through this house. Look at these amazing windows that peel through here. I love it that they have the curtain and the rods and all those things already in here to see what that looks like. Yeah, and then... And you know what, Jackson? What's that? We have so many viewers that really get disappointed that when we don't really get to showcase these hey, sliders. I saw that. They want to see your big muscles, Jojo. And here we go again. Look actually, actually they've gotten bigger. See how smooth I did that? That is really cool. Now I'm just taking a peek real quick. Does this one do it too, or is that just windows? And we're gonna do this quick, because it is cold. It does open, holy moly. Jojo, look at that. Huh? That is so cool. So you've got a double You have slider. a double way. So imagine the entertainment that you have when everybody comes over, you're just tied in with one of those perfect, nice spring days. And the tile roll, so it's the same as the floor in here and it kind of goes out. And this is a very modern, you know, high-end look in here. So your look would have people out here in the patio. You got people dining room, kitchen, living room, and then you have the, the courtyard as well. The courtyard, so it really ties in a lot of space out here, which is nice. This is cool. Now, can you shut it? This is a type of house and the product that you, that's not leave out any details to the lifestyle that someone's looking for out in these nice suburbs. I know. And then we're going to shock them with that price value. Since Jackson doesn't want to go upstairs yet, we're going to stay down here and we're going to finish off what down here looks like. Let's come into the family room slash den. Let's check out this space right here. Look how they have the insert on the fireplace right here. Very, very nice. Yep. Real popular. Right over here to the left and to the right of me, Jackson, are two bedrooms. However, one is the owner's retreat and the other one is the in-law suite. So let's go to the in-law suite first. So you've got a good size room in here. You have an amazing size room. It's, it's very ample, very clean. This one gives a lot of shade, but still gives you view to the outside. You have a nice walk-in shower over there. That's where your closet will be, your sink area. All right, so now let's continue on and go into the owner's retreat. Why do I say that? Because once you're in here, you do not want to leave. There we go. So let's go. One thing I've here. noticed about these Toll Brothers, they, they seem to have these exposed beams a lot in here. So it's like you still get that modern, you know, look, modern farmhouse look. It's I really I love the cool. way it feels. Yeah. It just really brings it more homey, gives a lot more elegance and luxury to it. These stained beams are just a, a big time favorite around uh, the suburbs. So you got plenty of space here, both front, side, everywhere. You even got And look at these for... amazing windows. I mean, they pretty much open it all the, I mean, it's just- You're a window beaming. guy, ain't you, Jojo? Hey, I love windows, Jackson. Especially I mean, the there's big nothing, black. There's nothing like bringing in the nature inside of the home. I mean, that to me, that just feels peaceful. So let's go over here into the amazing, elegant, primary bath. Look at Look it's at shining this. like this a diamond, clean. Jojo. This is cool. And now again, I got my style that, you know, you got the tub and yeah. open shower here. But I think the difference is, you know, just a view from the room is that you're not getting it straight yeah. ahead like some of those other houses. We've I have to give extreme credit to the designer of this uh, bathroom. Cause I mean, everything they did from the colors to even the color of the uh, countertops, the yep. shower, the decor behind it, even the trim outs that they did are absolutely top notch and just looks so nice and elegant in here. You got shower heads everywhere here, Jojo. Big, tall mirrors. So, I mean, you could just, if you feel the height in here and especially with the, a lot of the ceilings how they pop them up a little bit there yeah. too so you get a little bit of the so they brought a little bit of the foyer decor in here with yep. the niche and the ceilings and everything else and then you have two separate closets jackson so you got a closet here pretty good sized that's Super something that tall. would work for me i just need i just oh, need yeah. my shirt shoes and and pants and that's this works perfectly fine for me and then the other one has more of the space um, and actually can be redefined like a California style closet, yeah, you know, after closing. A lot bigger there. Yeah. All right, 
Let's head her on upstairs. Now it is time to go upstairs. All right, Jojo. This is the hangout up here. Yeah, and these stair railings are an upgrade. A lot of people that we've brought through this house has always asked about this type of stair rail. It's super popular. Boom, baby. Look at this. Got the industrial look. That is just yeah, so Yeah, only in fun. the model. So cool. But you're gonna have a big open space like this. This is what you're gonna have. In. Yeah, you're gonna have a big open space right here tied into a theater room across the way. And then you have separate bedrooms. So you have a bedroom over here, which is nice. And then you have two other bedrooms over here. This is actually like a big sized media room in here. Usually they're a little bit tighter than this. They're still great size, but this one is speakers all the way around. Jojo taking his seat. Oh yeah. This is really cool. But yeah, you walk right out of there and just, I just love the look of that. I think it's so cool. All right, so another then bedroom, oversized. Yeah, this is large. They even got a freaking stage. Jojo, you can play the band over there. How do you like me now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sing not me even, something. I, I'm not going to sing any <laughs> tunes, my man, because that just would not be good. No ace of bass, no, no Mariah Carey. No Mariah Carey, no hitting the high notes. <laughs> uh, another, you know, custom bathroom. Actually, a really good sized walk in closet. Got the custom tile shower. So you can see actually just how big, you know, this, this room is up here. Yeah, it's really nice. Yep. Walks out and then you've got, you got another one across the way. Doesn't this, it, even the height of the ceilings, how many uh, homes have we walked through, Jackson, that, you know, the ceiling height isn't even this high, the, the way they've made it yeah, even more, right? For sure. It just, it feels like a big open space. Full walk in closet over here. The beautiful bedroom. Yeah, you get the tile on the floor here, big closet, full bed. Is that all for the bedrooms or do we got another one on the wing? We got one more bedroom over here. Okay. Nice, another bedroom, yeah. got a closet. And then it looked like the bathroom is outside. So that's one to share with. That's probably goes to uh, attic space. It's definitely not a bathroom. And then you've got the uh, full bathroom here. Wow, look at the way the wind's coming off of there right now, Jackson. And it's snowing in Texas. Who'd have thunk it, right? Let us know in the comments down below where, where y'all are coming from. Is it snowing where your guys are at? This is why I moved to Texas to get away from this stuff. Hey, this right. is a rare occurrence. We get this maybe, maybe. Every, once every other year. Well, you know it's more rare? What's that? What's happening to this house here in a couple weeks? The breaking news, why don't That's you tell right. them? So the breaking news is, as we've walked through here for a couple of years now, people have fallen in love with this actual house and they're like, what about this model home? Will they sell it? Breaking news is, is they're selling this house now and nobody has it under contract as of yet. So what they gotta do, Jojo, they gotta reach out to they you? They gotta reach out to the team. Okay. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email right here at this number. And by the way, give us a thumbs up. There we go. Now let's go check out the prices of you know these houses and then we'll, we'll tell them what we're gonna do the rest of this video. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go because there's, there's a lot of exciting uh, homes to, to preview and also just to see what that new section looks like in this neighborhood. All right, Jojo, looks like you got all the price sheets there. All right, Jackson. So I have all the price sheets here down to their top line product and then even one that's on a smaller tier product that's still elegant. However, we got exclusive access to some of the homes out here. And the reason why I have exclusive access right now, Jackson, is because currently we have a client under contract with one of these houses to close in this neighborhood. And we were able to get the key and get inside of them. Again, we're gonna go out there and check it out. And we're gonna go into even the new section that does not even have power yet. And nobody's been through these houses as of yet. So let's go check them out right now. So I'm talking about Jojo. So a little bit of a cliffhanger there, but when we were talking with them here and uh, walking in, uh, we were asking them, begging them basically if we could go check out a couple of these houses. Nobody's been in them yet. They don't even have power. Our main man Jojo was able to get the keys. So we're going to get you some exclusive access into these Toll Brothers houses. And uh, you're not going to want to miss that. Come on, Joe. It's cold. Let's go. We haven't even seen these things yet. They got no power. No power. But Jojo got them keys. These things are massive. All right, we're gonna stop you there. Don't worry, not only are we gonna get you inside of this house, I'm telling you right now, you don't wanna miss house number three. You've never seen anything like it, but most importantly, we gotta show you where we're at on the map. That's what we do with the original Living in Houston, Texas YouTube channel so that you know if this is a good area to live. I have done many, many a videos talking about, here's the Woodlands, Texas. Here is the new 99 toll work route right through here. And this is just one of the hottest sections in all of Houston, Texas. People are moving here in droves and waves. They're finding you know incredible value on homes and proximities to you know the airport, the woodlands, and all of the new shopping that's going on here, plus the trees. And where we're at today is actually a spot that we went before, but we weren't able to get into these houses. And 
trust me, there's a reason why we came back. You'll see soon. But if we if we kind of zoom in here, we have the 99. This is called Woodson's Reserve. This place is really starting to get built out, but there's that whole brand new section that they're building out right now. And the cool thing about this is you're the, the furthest south that you can be uh, and still be in that Conroe ISD. So people love being in that school district. Again, a lot of people are going to the Highlands. Amazing. And they're going to have new schools in here, but it's zoned, you know, New Caney, Porter ISD. So just coming across the San Jack River, you will be in that Conroe ISD. They even have the newest high school right here, Grand Oaks. This thing is massive and it's in your neighborhood. So is the middle school, so is the elementary. So all of that is taken care of. And actually, I wanted to show you real quick, if you switch it to the layers view here, you can just see how treated it is. Here's that new section that's going in. And if you pop down in here, you're going to see, I mean, you've got all this kind of like lake living here. As you can see here, you get these beautiful houses. These are those ones with like the three car garage. You know, you got two of them here. One there, as you can see, I mean, these are big, beautiful homes. Another three-car garage, another three-car garage. A lot of these white brick, in fact, that's just like that Toll Brothers home with the center atrium right there. And again, the new 2024 models out of this world. You're going to see it here in a second. Plenty of room, bigger yards, so a lot of pools in here. And the other thing is it's very nature, very treed. So all of these lakes are gorgeous. They got hiking trails, walking trails around them. And then if we actually uh, just zoom out a touch, we're going to be able to see that right out of your neighborhood. So if you pop out here, you get the main road. This is all your shopping. So you've got the big movie theater right here. You've got Kroger's, you've got uh, restaurants, shops, bars. I, I even take my, my wife over here, you know, for date nights, not too far. Cause you just got a lot of things going on right here at the uh, the 99. And then if we zoom out a little bit right here on this corner, again, a hundred plus shops, restaurants, bars right here. And then, you know, you're just 15, 20 minutes away from the Woodlands, Texas, right next to Old Town Spring. So it's very centrally located. And, and again, right on the southern end of that Conroe ISD, which people are loving. I'm still wearing my jacket because it was so cold outside today. So please, if you would, all we ask for with these videos is that you hit that like button. That's it. When you guys like this video, it goes out to more and more people. We really enjoy helping as many people as we can. So do that. Now, let's get you into house number two. All right, we're gonna get you now into both of these houses here. Again, exclusive access. Nobody has been inside of these houses. We got the keys. They don't have power, but don't worry. We got some gadgets on here, some lights. We're gonna get some beautiful picture. Gentlemen, we have the technology. But wait till you see inside of that house. It's one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen in my life. So we're gonna reveal these prices to you guys as well here shortly. Uh, and that's something that's very surprising to a lot of you coming here is how much house you get for how little price. So make sure you still stay tuned to the end so that we can get into that massive one. But first, we're gonna head in here. Jojo, are you what? just hiding out, staying warm? I'm right here keeping warm, Jackson. Look at the size of this thing. Look how massive Where are you? This okay, there is. you are. Tell us a little bit about this while we're walking in. All right, so on this this side of the street you have two different builders this is toll brothers right here the popular toll brothers that everybody's looking for exclusively around the houston texas suburb whether it be the woodlands katy sienna missouri city all around houston this is an all-time favorite on the luxury class on this size house and this one is going to be right over the 4,000 square foot range so let's come on in and take a look jackson all right guys we gotta take a quick break. I gotta turn up the ISO settings so we can get a little lighter in here. Hold on. All right, Jackson, so here we are. I'm gonna tell you to come on in and have a look around. We do not, again, have power or lighting in this house as it's so new still in the community. So let's take a look at this amazing study right here. So it could be an office. They've got a kind of a little congregating room right there. They do, but technically this is an office. As you see, they took off the hinges here, but this French doors here, complete office study space. Gotcha. Right away you got... Another wine cellar. Again, always the model homes tend to love to showcase a wine cellar in their model homes. Let's see if we can get... Oh, wait, I can kick on the old headlights here. Watch this. Boom. Boom. <laughs> we come prepared for all you guys. Give us a like, would you, for the work we put in for you guys? Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's right under the stairs. Good space yes. utilization. So as we come down this hallway, Jackson, here's the feature, theater room downstairs. Oh. I didn't even know this was here. Projector, big screen over here. Let's go down here. Well, the hallway's Obviously, not done. You have a half bath. Not only do you have a half bath, this room right here is the in-law suite and it has a full bath as well. And a nice one, big tall shower up there. And then you got the glass door. I like the glass doors. I don't know what it is, Jojo. And then obviously you can see, you know, the natural light that these windows bring in. They have in. great natural light, still the blacked out windows. Again, the upgraded features in these homes. Yep, what's over here? Oh, big closet. All right, let's take us back out, Jojo. Look All at right. our little headlight on there. Inspector Gadget. 
Now in here, the, the, it Look features real tall high ceilings and then it, it levels down, still super high ceilings in this living area. Just having this chandelier right here, Jackson, it shows how huge and wide open this space is. It really in, in does, because uh, these things room. in person, I don't know if it shows it on video. I but mean, it's amazing. Look at the chandeliers. I know. That's like an eight foot So even if you radiant. can't get the whole gist of it on camera, when you see a chandelier that big, you know the space is really big being in person. Yep, and this one they went with kind of that all white. Even though they have the beams up there, everything, you know, real white, black, modern look to it. You have this, uh, what is it, a 48 inch insert gas cooktop? That's the 48. Oh, I love it. it. The big dog. Right there, Jackson. You can put some flapjacks right over there on the far side. Yeah. Got you a little pantry right here. Actually, and look not how little. It, look how it flows through to the other side. Let's see. Isn't that, we haven't seen that, right? We have not seen that. That's a brand new one. So now you've got Kind of the walk-through pantry, the walk -through access pantry. to both sides, and then a uh, little prepare station back there. You walk so. in empty-handed, come in with a full box of groceries. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Okay, so real quick, Jojo, seeing double slider again, or is it one? It's double slider doors. Let me get you in on this. Check this out right here. These suckers are gonna bring it in right there. Oh, where'd they go? <laughs> oh, that's not right, Jackson, that's not right. Now we know Jojo got them guns opening these doors for all of our clients. So this has been uh, a big ask of you guys on the channel that we open these sliders. And I got to step back just to show people what this is like. This is so cool. More than enough space. This is really nice. Uh, <clears throat> we do get some great weather out here. Sometimes we even get three seasons in one day. <laughs> <laughs> so even though it's cold right now, we could be barbecuing before the end of the day. Okay, so this one's got a taller, Sorry, I'm a, it little, does. It's, I'm a it's, little blown out here. but That's uh, right, you want chains. We're good, we're good. Uh, but a, a lot taller ceiling and it actually has another patio over here to the side. And they do have everything in the column over here that's built out for an outdoor kitchen. That's awesome. Okay, it's cold. Let's yeah. Go. All right, Jojo, I'm leaving it up to you on this one. Primary or upstairs first? You know what, Jackson, let's take it upstairs since on the first one we uh, started okay. down. So let's bring it upstairs. Well, first and foremost, you've got a media room, definitely not as big as that one that we had uh, on the other one, but these models, because of what clients have wanted, they want that movie theater the down theater below. Is that what downstairs. you're seeing? Yeah. And because they have different add-on options in the house, just always, this is just a half bath, by the way. Your other bedrooms are going to be right up. Oh, what am I trying to do? The light switches for <laughs> something you're used to doing. You've yeah. done a thousand times. Half bath here. Look at the ski ball machine. Digging that. You got two bedrooms up over here. This is uh, similar to the house that we toured out there in uh, Siena, Missouri City, Jackson, if you recall that house. Yep, so they, you've got big, you know, walk-in closet here and a full bath there with shower. Other room. Other room as well. Hey, enough room for two beds here. Could put the kiddo room there. Plenty of space. And then a uh, good sized walk-in closet that actually wraps around. You could definitely get two kiddos in here. Yeah, and mind you, they have a lot of design selections. So even um, if you need more bedrooms, they have them where you can even put extra bedrooms in there, change around their closet, L little variations of the home that, that they allow when you're building from. Yeah, from there's dirt. a lot of different floor plans. We were looking on those sheets, Yeah, huh? there's definitely a lot of selection. So okay, you, huh? let's check out that primary now. Look at the look from up here though, man. This is really. Even the wide stair uh, case here is wider than usual. Just coming down, like all the, the chandeliers, the glass. This is a cool look. All right, Jojo. All right, here I am. Before we get into the owner's retreat, Jackson, let's take a quick walk down this way. Right here is you'll have a workstation. No way. Yeah, isn't that nice? That is cool. And if you don't need a workstation, they can more than likely this wall right here can extend for a bigger utility room. A lot of different ideas. There is your utility room with a full sink, cabinets and everything else in there. Still ample space. Washer dryer, got the leash for the doggy, doggy bed. Got and there's your dog. favorite, Jackson, your drop station. Yep, so you could come in, kick off the shoes. How are you liking it? I noticed that you have a locker actually. You took that out and went with the full locker we setup. We went with some lockers in our house and definitely a lot more room um, than, than this here. We like a lot more room for the drop station for the kiddos. All right, so now let's come into the owner's retreat. Look at the walls right away, just to the left. So I like that this has a hallway that comes in, so it actually extends out and you have to walk through to get into the owner's retreat, which gives a lot more privacy. Yeah, and a lot of detail in they here. They got a lot of detail. Again, we always talk about that it, it's just a call to the contractor to come do this for you if you want extra design, but the niches in the wall, this is customary and they add into their floor plans out here. Okay, let's see this big, beautiful bathroom. This is a gorgeous bathroom. Holy moly. 
That's and I know when you first walk in, you're gonna see a, a big, giant, oversized closet in there, Jackson. Yes, you are. You're probably thinking, well, it's not all of it. There's a secondary one as well, which is even bigger. No, oh, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yes, it is definitely bigger. So two, Matt, this is, these are two way bigger closets. Yeah, so I, I would take the other closet for myself. That, that last house, but even that, that first house you're in, this is a lot more closet You know what's space. really unique about this uh, uh, primary bath as well, Jackson? What's that? Is a lot of times you have the vanity um, over there against the wall where you see the double sink. Yep. Look how they made this private vanity that over is here with the very sitting unique. station. That's all by itself over here. I think that's a really great feature. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to personally Only thing use I'm going to say, yep, then all that clutter, you, you women know that thing would be stuffed full of stuff, but at least it's a little bit hidden out of the way over there. Yeah. And that is a soaker tub, Jojo. That is a massive if soaker tub. And it doesn't feel like, you know, it's hogging up space. That's how big this bathroom is here. Yeah. All right, Jojo, we got to get into the other one. And guess what? You don't even have to turn off the lights. They're the other on. one's really nice. We've seen it around. It's real popular. It's called the Stelvo. And it's the one with the double staircase that wraps around when you first walk in. Oh, can't so wait let's to go see, see it that now. One. All right, so we're just leaving this one here. We are gonna go into the third house. Now again, make sure that you guys are voting down below. Which Toll Brothers house do you like the best? And feel free to commingle the uh, things you like in there best if you like the bathroom of that one, but the bedroom here. But overall ratings, these three houses. Now, this is the one, my style, moving to Texas, everything, the big, the white, the beautiful. This is definitely an, an eye catcher to me. Again, if we look across the road over there, you see that big white brick house. I love that look. So for me, this Massive door, Jojo. Look at this massive door. This thing is wide. This is going to allow for my unbelievable guns to come through here, Jackson. Now you got to use the gun show to open this one. This one you do. This this one takes nothing but guns. <laughs> All right, so walking into this one, Jojo. This one turns heads, man. I just love the double stairwell. Is, I'm so glad it's finally staged. We just need some lights up in this. It's luxury, it's a showstopper. It definitely says welcome home. From the ceilings, Jackson, the tall height all the way through with the stained beams going all the way, you, you just, your eyes just follow it all the way down. It ends up on the back wall with open windows, an open slider. And the cool thing is, Jackson, when you get past these double stairs, What's that? It's, when you look to the left, it's just gonna sprawl open with this amazing kitchen area. This place is incredible. Now, Don't forget the game room, my friend. I know, but real quick, yeah. go stand by the game room or the office. Look at your entryway. Oh yeah. This is 20 something feet across. You've got ceilings that gotta be 30 feet tall and that carries out throughout the entire house. I mean, you got like a barn dominium right in the middle of your house. Come in here to the office. And again, those tall ceilings. This is tall ceilings. There's a lot of detail in here. It's large, it's open. Love it, super nice. You have windows here so you can see when someone arrives at the front of your house knocking at the front door. You can either hide or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta cruise all the way over here and it looks like it goes right into a formal dining over here, Jojo. Yeah. And then you got a coat closet right away, locked up, but you got a closet right when you walk in and then this awesome formal dining that's just separated from kind of everything. You obviously can walk through to the kitchen over there, but you can hear how quiet it got in here. You nice definitely want to capture it, the kitchen coming in through this way. What's really nice, Jackson, is uh, even though on, on our camera coming through, with, even without having electricity or power right now, there's still a lot of light coming through here, right? Tons of light. But look at this, it just... Holy Jojo. Yeah. Need I say more? Well, and when we came in here last time, you know, it wasn't staged. It was very rough. And so you didn't get the feeling of what it's like. And even though that we don't have power, seeing it staged now, this is it, just it remarkable. Just, it, it brings a whole new dimension to it. Yep, we have no lights in here, but you can see just how bright it is and how much space. So and this, this, this kitchen's island, like twice the size, Jojo. This, this island, the, you can do a lot just on this side. And then look how it just goes all the way down to where the sliders are. This is where memories are made, right here in the kitchen and the living and entertainment area. Look at this, absolutely amazing. So again, when we go up, All the chandeliers up. are like 10, 8, 10 feet. They are massive, but they look so small in here. And you got that tile all the way to the ceiling. You got details in the walls, the big windows. What's really nice to showcase right now is when we go into the backyard, they happen to put a pool on this model home. So that's gonna give you a little bit of an idea of what a pool would even look like on this home since you don't get to see that every day in model homes. All right, Jojo, slider open, come on. All right, here we go. 
That's it. One thing I noticed, and you'll see in the drone footage, is a lot of these lots are really big, a lot of angled lots, and there, there's a lot of pools. There's sport courts, basketball courts. I know. know. Imagine having just a nice uh, party with the kiddos, you know, birthday party out here. You have the uh, open sliders open, you're barbecuing out here and have a nice pool. This is what it looks like. Man, you got the rad new modern pool going in. You never get a scene like this with the hot tub going. Nope, you, you don't. And again, that ceiling. So from when the walk in the house all the way to the back, it stays constant. This big, wide, tall, rectangle open area that is so cool yes the entertaining with look the at the height sliders. of this tile jackson it's basically almost my height man yeah three foot tile no <laughs> oh, come on man hey i'm messing with you cut that out of the film <laughs> All right, now that we went to the backyard, Jackson, let's go have a look upstairs. Now that we are gonna go upstairs, this is when, when my wife came and toured with us, which I'm gonna get her back. You guys were all begging me. Uh, we both loved this alleyway here. And then what you'll notice is when you're up there or when you see this right here, there's no living space, there's nothing up there. So it's, it's simply just for aesthetics, looking and walking, but you won't get the noise. So I'm excited to get up there and see that, uh, what it looks like, but I don't know. When I moved to Texas, this is exactly what we envisioned, just big, open Texas homes. We're coming up here to this Texas second floor. <laughs> okay, what do we got, Joe? Right here is the theater room. Holy. Now look, they have a sectional from wall to wall, and this isn't just a 10 foot wide room. This is massive. You right have here. to get this from the mattress mac. Yeah. I don't know if you find a couch this cost, but this is like 40 piece sectional here. Yeah, the top notch uh, gallery furniture here in Houston, Texas. Man, if you don't know nothing about the mattress mac, learn y'all about the mattress mac. Yeah. You buy today, they deliver today. Is that a good commercial right there for It me? is, that's, that's what he says. You will learn when you move to Houston, the most notorious human here is the Mattress Mac. You're gonna see his advertisings. He's a huge philanthropist, really good dude, but he's got the best furniture stores ever. So, where'd you go, Jojo? Oh, there oh, you I'm are. I'm over here in this nice room. Man, this wouldn't not you a die nice for a room like this for your kiddo? spacious. Hey, this works even as a primary bedroom. Look how big it is, it's I oversized move the bed for and sure. have a full basketball court up here. This is really. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is your style room right here, basketball, Jackson. Yep. All the sports, let's go. Got a full bath, walk-in closet. Hey, look at the ones. Got the big closet. Another oversized bedroom over here down this hallway. What's really... Closet yeah, here. Yeah, closet there. And you come into another bedroom over here. Okay, yeah, these are huge. These look are at it. massive. This is, rooms. yeah, this is way oversized. These are all primary size bedrooms, by the way. Yeah, they are. So these models like this, Jojo, I mean, you can get these rooms this big for all of them and really all the houses we've seen even above a mil a million dollars um, they do not have bedrooms this size secondary yeah. bedrooms all right Is so there more? here we are we're invited into the game room jackson and I'll tell you one other thing. You probably thought that was the end of the bedrooms, right? Yeah, that's There's what I thought. There's one more bedroom. So what's unique about this is you have bedrooms that are completely spread out upstairs. So no kid is right next to each other if that's what you're looking for. My goodness. These are primary bedrooms for sure. Yeah. <laughs> These are what we're used to seeing in a lot of just no the houses. All fully custom tile, massive rooms, huge walk-in closets, and Got you a separated game room over here that's gonna keep the noise away from the It does, the this one actually has a hallway and it's buffered by three bedrooms. Yep, now real quick, JoJo's getting ready for something. I'm gonna take you through a tour real quick. Again, massive pantry uh, and, and what we keep talking about, me and my wife actually did a remodel recently where we added a mud room, locker, so the drop stations, everything that we talk about and we added a massive pantry like this. It makes life so much easier. Um, and you got a little station here. This goes through to where that dining room was. So walks right through. And again, you can see the size of this island. It's a five by probably 10, maybe 12 feet, uh, all one piece. And then the other thing is that prep station, that, that countertop, that's probably 15, 17 feet, something like that. So really, really long. Hey, Joe. Yeah, what's up, Jackson? Man, where are you at? I'm, uh, I'm over here. Oh. Up front, come to my office. Hold on, I gotta find Jojo. What you doing? Have a seat, my friend. Well, you know what I just realized? What's what's that? We didn't even show the primary. There's another bedroom over there behind the kit. I just found it. That's because you got excited with the oversized bedrooms, Jackson. I'm just You were worried about, about bringing Jill over here to take a look around <laughs> from last time. You want to go show them the primary before we do prices? Let's do it. Come on. All right. So let me, let, let's just, let's leave it right here. I'm going to put these down right here and Ooh, we'll come right back. Hot off the press. We legit forgot to do this, Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, behind the kitchen, I was walking over there. There's another bedroom. I got shocked. To the left, to the left. To the left. Yeah. All right. So I already did that. I was talking. I got a little lost back here, Jojo. So here comes in from the uh, garage here. You got the big closet. And then 
Then you have the Look utility the, room yeah, over here. Yeah, big utility room. This there's your oversized drop that's station. That's what we're talking about. That's what I caught, huge. And then another walkway. Yes, and we've seen a lot of them like this that are actually the primary bedroom, Jackson, other than the size right. of the bathroom. Yeah, because the big hallway. Yeah, the big hallway, and usually it's the oversized bathroom. But this is really nice in itself as a uh, in-law suite or just a secondary bedroom downstairs. Yeah, and so you have just bedroom in here, right? There's no doors, no closets. Yeah. That's all going to be down here on the on the hallway with the full walk-in closet and big old tall ceiling bathroom. Plenty of room in here. Now we got to go show them that <laughs> primary, Joe. All right, well, come on and let's take a look. Dang. Oh, and they got the uh, cocktail closet right there again under the stairs. It's just a cool look. Oh, man, Joe. Well, come oh, on man. in. I invite you in over here to take a look at the owner's retreat. This. And as you walk in to the right, you might as well go to the bath because it is extraordinary. Jeez. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. So you got the big closet. And again, here's kind of your separate vanity, but even bigger, tucked around the side and right next to the massive walk-in closet. So this is just one, but as you can see, this is a closet, Jojo. Now, oversized bedrooms. Huge. Nice window placements. You still have extra tall ceilings with the stained beams up top. Yeah, so again, this floor plan, where we were at last week, uh, the bathroom was kind of tied into it. This is just all room. Look at the size and of this And what's thing. really nice about this room too, Jackson, is because you saw earlier we had the pool in the backyard. Yeah. So having this primary room right here positioned, if you build a, someone builds a pool on their property, they have view to it with this window right behind you. Yep. Might and that, just, that really adds a ah. nice, especially when we have water oh, features and everything flowing through there. Yep. All right, Joe, Joe, now we're ready for some prices. Are you in your office? I'm over here in the office again, Jackson. Man, okay, I just, one more check. Look at this. I'm in love with this one, Joe, Joe. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What kind of prices? What are we looking at? And are these things even selling? These, as a matter of fact, Jackson, uh, this these particular series homes that we just walked through right here, like in particular to Stelvo, we just talked to the sales rep that we're currently working with right now for a client. And the amazing thing, he was like, look, we have four contracts sitting on our desk right now, and they're all above 1.2 to 1.4 million. And price point, they, they fluctuate. For example, this base price at the very base of the out exterior styles is in the high nines, but it goes well over into the millions with upgrades. So they are selling out fast, especially once you start doing a little legwork and this power goes on out here, that's when you're gonna see a massive uptick in these houses going off the market. So what's really great is we're out here right now, putting eyes on the ground and knowing what's available and what's coming available. In fact, Jackson, we just had a client in the closeout section, bought a brand new construction around the corner. They fell in love with it again. It was a mixture between what we saw in the, the first model home and this new style here. Absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, they fell in love with all the trims, the features, the landscaping, everything this area and the neighborhood, and more importantly, the house had to offer. Perfect. So let's see what kind of numbers we're looking in, in models. Look at your little organization there, Jojo, what you got? All right, so just wanted to show you that they have a 70 foot section, which is in that mid tier 3000 square foot range. Those are gonna be base price 600 sevens. And then right here, as you see this one that's available in December through January, well, obviously we're in January right now, it's right under $800,000. And then they have another one for 724. So you can still get these nice Toll Brothers custom homes in the 700s. Yes, and it doesn't compromise on aesthetics in this neighborhood. That's what's really nice about it as you come through here. Now, how come the exterior's got like four different ones, Jojo? So we're gonna hop over into the bigger section as well, Jackson, the wider lots, but here's just to give you an example, it starts from traditional, then you got classic, and then modern farmhouse. Okay, so those are the styles that you can get? Those are the styles that you can get. Now this particular series that we just walked through today, these are gonna be your 4,000 plus square foot homes. Look at this one, for example, it's 5,334 square feet, and it's $1.1 million. Okay. And then they do have some other ones starting. And they do. And what's really uh, nice about this, like take this Markham, for example, Jackson, it's a four to five bedroom, three car garage, one story, 3,600 square feet. Look, they have an exterior Tudor style house. Is that not nice or what? Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that means, but <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it, Jojo. <laughs> yeah. It just means there's variety and that's just really nice to be able to have those different selections in, a, in an and exterior style house. that's 750 base price. Base price, correct. Now you've been working with a lot of clients lately getting some of these higher end 
different homes. Um, are you still able to negotiate with these sales reps and, and help our clients? Yes. So right now we have great relationships with builders. And again, negotiation always comes in the form as inventory style homes. Obviously when you're building from dirt, that is a different tier. However, they still offering some great incentives when using their in-house financing. And it's not there, they usually have a few lenders to select from. So you're able to choose from them and get the best incentives. Now, if you're loving these Toll Brothers homes, we toured one of the nicest ones ever and it's in one of the top master plan communities in the United States. Check out this video right here where we compare Toll Brothers to a custom home in a top master plan community. Don't miss this video.